Hi all. As you can see, I'm in the bedroom. And there's a reason I'm in here. Because I'm going to talk about a couple of computers I've got in here. Because I've actually decided it might be better to do my videos based on a theme. Because one, they're not going to be anywhere near as long, which will make editing and saving a lot easier. And two, it will save you guys having to flick, you know, skip through if I actually just, you know, theme them. So if I ever get any new traffic cones or lamps, I'll put that in a separate video. I will still do a general vlog, like I do. But uh, I just think, you know, an actual themed video on a specific subject would be better for all of us. So, with that said, I don't have a lot of battery, so this should be uh, quite a short video. Um, Saturday, I was just in the mood to play with computers, so I've got two. Well, I've got one working, the other one is a recase. So, I'm going to move over to my chair. Um, I managed to get this Dell Optiplex, I think that's the 740, yep, up and running because a friend came over last Thursday with a computer with the intent to get it all up and running. Um, but he traded his phone for a hard drive for it forgetting that there's two different connection types. There's the uh, SATA and the IDE interface. And he got the IDE and the computer he had, which he picked up from a friend for free, um, didn't have any IDE connections. It was SATA only. Uh, it's a Dell... Uh, I can't remember. I think it's a Dell Dimension 5 something or other. Dell Inspiron, sorry. 5. So it's got a 3 number, model number on it. But I can only remember the first one is 5. Um, but anyway, you know, he just sort of said, eh, do you want it for £5? So I was like, not really, but here you go, because I don't really need any more, more um, computers. But... Uh, it had two gigabytes of DDR2 memory in it, and I wanted to get this going, so I pretty much bought it just for the RAM to put in here, along with an 80 gigabyte hard drive. It's got an AMD dual core processor. I can't boot it up because it's I can't connect it to the TV yet. Um, I need to get a video card, a low profile video card with an HDMI output on it. Um, but yeah, I want to put a card reader on the front here as well, but because this is like an OEM factory built, you know, specifically designed PC, there's no USB headers to plug a, either extra USB ports into or a card reader into, so that was a bit of a bummer, so I just connected up the floppy disk drive. It'll never get used, but I think I connected it, I'm pretty certain I connected it just for the sake of connecting it but this is going to be used with this TV it's got the Wi-Fi dongle up there which I'll probably just plug in the back um, I'm gonna have a keyboard and mouse connected to it as well USB and I'll use them on this table because I want to stream um, Netflix and YouTube through the TV so I can sit in here at night and just lay on my bed, you know, chilling out with a Netflix movie on or even YouTube videos on. Or I am tempted, once I've got a few bills sorted out, to go for Amazon Prime as well and just see what that's like. Um, but that's basically that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a multimedia thing for the TV. Now, I'm not sure about audio. <laughs> uh don't know if I'd have to connect the audio somehow separately or if it will come through the HDMI. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Uh, but if I can't get the audio through the TV, I do have plenty of um, speakers that I can connect to it. 
and some decent little ones as well so that's not an issue either it's running Windows 7 I know the processor is dual core but I can't remember the what the um, power rating is it's probably something like a 2 gigahertz one or something um, so that's that one done I'm going to just spin around this is why I like this chair I've got this one that is an Asus case, or an Asus case, I'm still not 100% certain how you pronounce that. Um, if you remember a while back, I got a HP Pavilion, I think, computer on Windows 7 from the car boot sale for £5, spares, repairs, which turned out to be a fully working machine when I got at home, you know. Windows 7 everything on it worked perfectly uh, but I didn't like the case anyway and of course back then I was having trouble with my uh, employment and support allowance which meant I sort of took a bit of stress out on the uh, side panel for that case so it didn't have one so I just decided to reduce what I've got in my closet outside my front door to just recase it into one of these because I've well, actually I've got one less now because I got rid of it um, took it apart but I've got three of these cases now this one's fully working Windows 7 4 gigabytes of RAM 2.4 gigahertz Intel dual core um, and an ATI Radeon Sapphire X I can't remember if it's a 1900 or a 1950 video card I've put on that as well. It's not the best. It's only got 512 megs of GDDR3 RAM on the video card. But it's certainly better than the motherboard graphics. So, And I had it, so I just decided to stick it on there. So it's a decent little Windows 7 machine. I'm pretty certain I can upgrade the RAM to 8 gigs if I so wished and I can actually get that pretty cheap um, pretty cheap on eBay actually I can get 8 gigs for fourteen ninety nine. so I could very easily upgrade that and max it out I don't know I might but that's going to be pretty much the emergency rig at the minute or just a play around rig I'm not sure but I've got one more to squeeze in I hope and that is down here if I get on my knees my Windows 98 machine. Yes, I've got the side panel on it because... If I just open it up. No, I had the thing in the right place. There we go. I've got the hard drives mounted in. I wobble a little bit this side because I can't actually screw them in tightly. But Because what I had to do, I screwed them in this side butt up against this side through the holes that are in the side panel here and as you can see there's quite a gap there so I had to use longer screws so I've just got the longer screws and they're basically supporting it uh, and if you're thinking because of this yellow sticker it's identical to that one it is they are two 20 gigabyte yeah 20 gig hard drives now Whereas I had that 40 gig in here before, but Windows 98 wouldn't see it. It would see it in the BIOS and on the post screen, but not in the actual operating system. But I put that 20 gig in there and it sees that, so I left it. And I think 40 gigs, to, well a bit less than 40 gigs, because obviously the OS is going to take up a bit of room. But I think I've got enough storage on there to play what few games I'll play in this box so I'm not too fast uh, I do believe that's actually it I have got a project computer that I want to do I'm watching the parts for it on eBay but that might have to wait until the new year now I hate saying that now it's too early um, that is it computer wise I just want to talk you through 
Another thing I can do is I seem to have some time. Move the tripod. Let's uh, boot this one up because it is actually connected. But uh, I haven't installed any Wi Fi on this one. It's probably going to ask me to or tell me that the uh, BIOS time and date isn't set. You are, aren't you? Not this time. <laughs> well, I did earlier. I had my brother over and I showed him this and it said, you know, time and date not set. Well, screw you too. <laughs> yeah, it didn't install Windows 7 or anything. I just literally transplanted from one case to this one. It's not the best looking case on in the world. But the airflow isn't too bad for what it is. It be, should be perfectly adequate enough for this. It's got the funnel on it for the processor fan. There we go. Look, we're all booted up already. Whee! I actually love it. Boing! See, it's pretty quick. I really need to, what am I looking for? System. So what is it that we've actually got? Yeah, 2.4 gigahertz. If anyone wants to look up the actual processor it's got, it's an E4600. Intel Core Duo. 4 gigabytes RAM, 64-bit operating system. It is all uh, activated as you can see there, so it is all legit. There's some sort of code below that, so I, I don't want to show that just in case it's a key or something I'm not sure what it is it says product ID and looking at it it could no actually it's not the right number of letters or um, digits whatever what does that mean the Windows experience index needs to be refreshed see HP HP and an Asus because <laughs> these were built as pre-built machines in this case although I have seen cases that don't have the Asus name on that you could buy a bare bones that's it the bare bones version of this case I don't actually know why you'd want the bare bones version but never mind there we go we've got open office on here as well and uTorrent which I'll take off because I'll never use that I don't actually use torrents anyway. Why did I close that? Because I could have done that. Now back in the control panel. Where the Jesus are? Oh, there we are. Exactly the same in Windows 10. I can take this off. I don't. I don't actually have Netgear stuff on here, so we can take that off. I do hope the battery's going to last while I do this. And I can take that U-Torrent off as well. Hadn't seen that name for ages, even though it still existed. <laughs> I do now. But I've got other USB adapters if I want to put Wi-Fi on this. But the LAN works, so... I just want the Wi-Fi for the other... Dell Optiplex 740 because I didn't want to trail a bloody Ethernet cable around. And I've already done the experiment when it was over here on where we are right now with it and it streams YouTube fine so it should stream um, Netflix okay as well. No it wasn't jerky it didn't have to buffer mind you my router is only just through there so it shouldn't but uh I don't want to take an uninstall survey. Just remove the damn thing. Oh, battery is now getting low. Just in time. You see there's not a lot installed on this either. There's the ATI driver, an open office, and Mozilla Firefox, and that's it. That is all I've got on this. That's why I didn't bother reinstalling uh, Windows. 
Anywho, as my battery is dying, I'm going to call this quits for this video. So, thanks a lot for watching. It's only a short little one, but it's a specific video which I'm going to go back to doing. So, uh, as I said, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you all again in the next video. Ta-ta!